Uh, so BPDCN or Blastic Plasma Saturated Dendritic Cell Neoplasm is a rare orphan tumor uh, which historically has had very poor outcomes uh, and uh, with the standard chemotherapy the overall survival was fairly short. So most recently in the last few years we have had approval in part due to efforts of uh, our center and other centers of the first targeted therapy that is uh, targeting CD123. So CD123 is a protein that is expressed on the cell surface of uh, tumors. In this case, it's BPDCN cell, tumor cell. It's also expressed on AML, but BPDCN by far has the highest expression of this. Um, and we think it's because the normal dendritic cells have also high expression of CD123. In fact, that's how you identify them by flow cytometry, that there's a subset that has high CD123. So the drug that is approved uh, is called, uh, abbreviated as TAG or TAGREXOFASP. Uh, it's uh, uh, interleukin-3, which is a ligand for CD123 conjugated to the toxin, diphtheria toxin. So it binds to the receptor CD123 and uh, essentially kills the cells through this toxin. Uh, so that drug is approved. Uh, it's now frontline therapy for VPDCN. And uh, of course, now we have a lot of research ongoing uh, with respect to the CAR T cells. So the CAR T cells are T cells that are educated to uh, eliminate tumors with this specific cell surface expression. And they have been approved in the setting of acute lymphoblastic le leukemia and lymphomas. So the um, there are two ways of making CAR T. One is autologous uh, from uh, patient derived T lymphocytes, and one is allogenic. And people got very excited about allogenic CAR T because it's off the shelf product. So, for the any autologous product, you have to get the apheresis or get the blood of the patient uh, and then generate the T cells with the culture uh, for about two weeks and then another two weeks for like a, a sterility check and things like that. So it takes a long time and then frequently patients after chemotherapy, their T cells are not as healthy. So there is a failure to generate the CAR T from patient cells and then you're kind of avoiding the, uh, you, you, you are unable to use that. So allogenic CAR T cells are obviously from the donor derived T cells, uh, but if you just use the unmanipulated T cells, that will cause something called graft versus host disease because of mismatch. Um, so the companies have come up with a way to engineer the CAR T cells so that they do not cause the graft versus host disease by genetic manipulation, uh, taking out in this case T cell receptor. So, and then they have, they, they are transduced with a target in this case, CD123. So they only kill the tumors that have CD123 expression or the normal cells that might have that as well, uh, but the tumors have overexpression of the target. So the idea is to use this allogenic uh, T cells that can be stored in the hospital on the shelf. And then of course it's in the setting of clinical trial at this point. And then when the patient comes, is eligible for the trial, you can just take out the cells and after lymphodepletion infuse. Um, so we have published a paper this year showing high efficacy of the allogenic CAR T cells against CD123 in BPDCN preclinical models, uh, both in the cell lines, patient-derived cells, and in patient-derived xenografts. So we essentially could cure um, the disease in most of the uh, uh, mice that we treated, uh, but we had one relapse. So we also figured out how that relapse happened, uh, you know, why the cells became resistant, and we identified that the cells lost CD123. The phenomenon has been well described in the, C in the ALL when they lose CD19, but nobody has shown it for CD123, and we are described the mechanism how that happens. It was actually like several different mechanisms how that happens. So potentially it can lead to the escape, uh, but still this therapy we think could be very effective. Um, so right now, uh, this uh, allergen CAR T cells is in AML clinical trial, and hopefully once we have the safe and effective dose, it will be uh, moved also into BPDCN space. But right now, the trial is only in AML, but we're looking forward to start BPDCN where we think it will be the best efficacy.